Welcome to my book review on Cinder. So, we'll start off with this one. Cinder is based on Cinderella, and it's like a retelling of Cinderella, which at first I was kind of like, mm, but this one did it pretty well. It's set in a future world of Earth, and um, there are people who have colonized on the moon, and they're called Lunars. Um, and this book kind of explores the relationship between those people, those like magical moon people, and the people on Earth as well. So Cinder is a cyborg, and she's kind of treated as like a second-class citizen, so she's not very like, she's not like treated as a full person with full rights. She has a reputation as a mechanic, which leads her to meet Prince Kai, who is like the prince of the commonwealth, which is kind of like future Eastern Asia. This leads her to become entangled in intergalactic politics. And there's also a plague. Fun time. And it's got like a 100% mortality rate. Everyone's dying. It's kind of like the Black Plague. Not fun. And they're searching for a cure. Because the, uh, cyborgs are treated as second-class citizens, they are drafted to be tested for the plague. So, I am going to be going into the non-spoiler section of this video. Um, so if you're just here for a review without any spoilers, and if you're planning on reading the book, you're in luck. So the world building is a kind of a blend of sci-fi and fantasy, which was kind of really cool for me. So there are cute nuts to the original story, but it wasn't like heavily like keeping to the same basic Cinderella story, which was nice. So like, it's not like you knew everything that was gonna happen. Um, and most of the characters were also really well fleshed out and very vivid, which I really liked. And you could really like feel what the characters were feeling. But the plot was also very fast and exciting, um, particularly near the end. Um, I thought that was really cool. It also had really good pacing, which is always very important. Um, so my dislikes were that one or two of the characters just weren't very consistent and there's one character in particular that I just like <sighs> the characterization was also very good it's just it was inconsistent like they would characterize a character and then like in every scene after that they were completely different and I'd be like what and some key points of the plot were just like hinted at way, way too strongly so that was my review um I gave it three and a half stars out of five um, for details that I will go into in the non-spoiler section. So now we are getting into the spoiler section, so if you are looking to read this book and you don't want spoilers, click away now. So, like I mentioned before, the world building was really good and it gave it to you piece by piece instead of in like these big info dumps that are just really boring to read. So I really like that. Um, I also like, so it mentions that like there's been like a several world wars and all the countries have like kind of combined to be more unified and so it's grouped pretty much like by continent right so like africa australia eurasia europe or asia europe right and then there's just like england just like going strong like there's still a queen like they they must have had a world war and they were like okay europe like we've got to like unite because otherwise it's gonna happen again and england's just like so I just, I kind of liked how it's just like England by itself. I, that, that just doesn't make any sense, but I liked it. It was fun. So I also really liked Cinder, which is always nice because the main character sometimes is not so great. She was very smart and logical and she made decisions like, you know, a normal person. So like I could read it and be, not be like, oh my God, what are you doing? Yeah, the pacing was also very good. I was always entertained. It really like flew by. Particularly during the part where she goes back to the, she goes to the ball. I really like that part and I like could put it down. So the plot is very well paced and goes fast. I also really liked Queen Lavana, who is the evil villain. She's the queen in um, on the moon. And so she comes, so the emperor of the commonwealth dies and she sends this calm, this sort of like a video form of email 
over and it was just so well done and like it had like just the right amount of like condolences to be like diplomatic but like it didn't it was still like we're going to make an alliance and it's gonna be on my terms and she just swooped right in there and I thought that was really cool. It was very calculated what she did. One of my dislikes of this book was just the inconsistent characters that I mentioned earlier, particularly Dr. Erland. So in this scene, when you first meet him, he is the guy who like is trying to find the antidote to the plague, right? To loot Moses. It was just, it was a really good characterization that I thought was really well done. Um, and they really characterize him as a creep. Like they suggest he's like a pedophile and it's like, oh God, it was really well done. So like you, he, she established his character really well. And then it like was just not continued at all. And I was like, like every scene after that, he was like a father figure. He was super nice and like very supportive. And like, I know it's going on. You know, uh, it just, it was very inconsistent. Uh, I, I didn't like that part. We've gotten to Prince Kai. I found him very annoying. So he asked Cinder out to the ball, right? And Cinder was like, yeah, I don't think so. Like I'm escaping that night for my evil stepsisters and stuff. Like I don't, you know, like, and he was like, oh yeah, I understand. And I was like, okay, cool. And then like a couple chapters later, he was like, Hey, so like, will you go to the ball with me? Like, and she's like, yeah, I think you asked me this. And he kept pressing her and kept pressing her. And I was like, bruh, like, we'll take a hint. Like, she told him no, like maybe three times. And he kept asking her and I was like, bruh. And like, I was just, that kind of ruined his character for me. And I was like, Ugh. he's just kind of was boring. Like, he's your stereotypical, like, prince charming sort of a guy where he's just like there and like yeah he get he gets sad because like his dad died and stuff but like he's just and what i think is the main problem with this and the main reason that i gave it three and a half stars instead of four stars is because i just don't care about him and cinder like i just I really don't just the, sh the whole ship like i just i don't see it i don't like it and i didn't really care there's too strong of hinting that Cinder is Princess Celine. It's really apparent. She gives you like two paragraphs of Celine's background and you're like, why are you, there's no reason you'd be giving it to me this other than you're setting up a plot twist later. So anyway, that was my review on Cinder. Tell me if you guys liked it. Oh, like and subscribe. Disclaimer, I have not read the rest of the series. Do not come for me. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I read this book a while ago and I was kind of like meh on it and then I read it again and I think I like it better this time. I'll be uploading weekly on Saturdays. Um, I hope you like this. I'm gonna be making them anyway. You're getting this no matter what. Ha! <laughs> Building in this book. Um. Um, most of the characters were really well fleshed out and Wait, say that part again because I actually bought the camera. <laughs> hey, most of the video. Um, so if you're just out in <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Morris. You're pushing it with your head. That's fine. Go forward for it. <laughs> okay. It's this. I just burped.